All right, it is time for uh, the update stream. <laughs> so a couple things first. I just noticed while I was uh, waiting to start that it disconnected for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, if that happens, just hang on because it did reconnect like really shortly after. I, I don't know why that happened, but it did. Uh, the second thing is that um, <laughs> I was going to do my dailies first. So I was headed towards one of them, and then it just automatically started this. So we're going to do this first, I guess. So let's continue. You need to be careful when you're opening packages. I once had a friend mail me some research materials, and all the bouncing around in transit caused a reaction. Once I opened it, oh, it let out a stench that could wake the dead. If your package contains anything like that, then maybe you should check with Albedo first and see what he thinks. Was his voice always like that? He sounds like a, like a surfer, bro. No, this package didn't contain any hazardous materials. Revealed! The truth! What are you two chatting about? Oh, hey, you two. Uh, we're just talking about a strange package that Sucrose received recently. A strange package? Yes. I believe it's from a Sumero scholar who came here to study in Monstra. It's most likely a thank you gift for collaborating on some research together. Huh? A package from an academia scholar? Oh, then there could be anything inside. Well, it is a thank you gift. There wasn't anything dangerous inside. Just a bunch of strange cards. I think I've seen... Oh, that's what this is. Cards before, so I came to ask him about what they might be. Uh, you... you... You've seen me with some cards? <laughs> Maybe those were the testing cards used for distinguishing reagents. No, they didn't look like test cards. Here, have a look. Cute. Oh, you meant these? Huh, Sucrose, have you really never seen these before? No, never. Recently, I've been spending all my time up in the mountains working on cultivating pentatonic sweet flowers. Why? Is this an area of research that has started trending in the alchemical community during my absence? Not exactly. <laughs> you could definitely say that it's trending, but not as an area of research. It's a card game that's been getting really popular these days. It's called Genius Invocation TCG. Genius Invocation TCG! So this is the game we've been hearing about. Yeah, we've been hearing about this game all over the place. This is the first time we've ever actually seen any of the cards. We didn't know it had made it all the way to Monstra. Must be pretty popular, huh? That's right. The game's been catching on lately. The Yae Publishing House in Inazuma has even published a series of light novels based on the game. The story is really good. It starts with a young guy in Sumeru who finds an ancient casket of tomes in the attic. He opens it and discovers that the soul of an ancient TCG player called the Crocodile King has been captured inside. It turns out that the Crocodile King was King Deshrek Viceroy, who battled an opponent named the Ibis King. During the match, the Crocodile King fell prey to his opponent's scheme and was sealed away in the casket of tomes. Can we get to the After point, please? Being unexpectedly released by the kid, the Crocodile King possesses him and helps him to gradually climb the ranks and become a legendary TCG player. Uh, Timaeus. Huh? What's wrong, Sucrose? Uh, if you're interested in how the story plays out, I can lend you the novel. No. I was just thinking about that time you requested an extension on your progress report deadline, citing personal reasons for the delay. <coughs> well, uh, I did go through a phase recently where I wasn't putting enough focus on my work, but it's under control now. I've committed to not even touch Genius Invocation TCG until I've made enough progress in my research. <sighs> well, that's unfortunate. Well, since it's a gift from a researcher I've collaborated with, I thought that I should at least try to learn the rules. That way, I could say that I at least tried to appreciate his gift. All right! And since it's a game from Sumeru, who knows? Playing it might even make you smarter! 
If you want to play, then just say it. Okay, fine. I'm not serious and I'd like to give it a try. See? Although, it seems like we can't learn how to play it anytime soon, because Timaeus has given up for a while. <laughs> well, research is my priority, you know. But if you'd like to learn the rules of Genius Invocation TCG, then I'd actually suggest you go to the cat's tail. The cat's tail? Yep, that's the place. It's where everyone in the community goes to play when they have time. They gather there, trade cards, and they're very welcoming to new players. Trying to learn the rules can be intimidating at first, but it's a lot of fun once you get the hang of it. Understood. Traveler, Paimon, let's go to the cat's tail and try asking around. To be honest, hearing Timaeus talking about the game has also piqued my curiosity. All right, I guess we're doing the trading card game first. <laughs> Battlefield of dice, cats, and cards. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not very good at trading card games, though. So we'll see how this goes. Where are you? You're back here. Enter the cat's tail. I wish you could pet the cats. That's what everyone really wants. Cat bartender. Welcome to the cat's tail. Ah, oh, <laughs> it's the traveler and Paimon. What a nice surprise. And I mean like an actual oh, cat, not like Diana. Alchemist. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> I'm afraid I've already told you before. Fur from the cat's tail staff is not for sale. No matter how much more you offer. Margaret, we're not here for that research project I told you about last time. Fur from the cat's tail staff? Uh, Jesus H, what kind of experiment were you trying to do with the cat's tail? Uh, oh, I just wanted to test out some hypotheses, and I needed some materials. But uh, we can talk about that later. Actually, Margaret, we're here to learn more about Genius Invocation TCG. Sucrose explains everything to Margaret. Ah, Genius Invocation TCG. We were just talking about that game. You see, more and more people have been gathering at the Cat's Tail to play. So I thought, why not have a dedicated staff to serve the new customers? Speaking of which, I believe we've already met. Yes, met who? Who do you no, think? Please. This is the Cat's Tail after all. So I thought having a cat take care of our new customers would be quite a nice touch. <sighs> Sorry, I had to turn All something off. To interpret. <clears throat> Prince says that the word customer is much too loose of a term, and we should instead refer to anyone who loves dueling with cards as TCG players. Oh, Prince. Mm. <laughs> My mistake. So it seems I haven't introduced you yet. This is Prince and Shuyin. They will be in charge of taking care of our TCG Didn't we have players. to find Prince before, though? Ah, I'm afraid I must correct you there, ma'am. Only Prince, the strongest and most formidable TCG player of all, is capable of providing valuable guidance to our new players. The average player is incapable of grasping the subtlety and sheer genius behind Prince's every play. And he has no choice but to rely on me to communicate with everyone. I am merely Prince's lowly assistant. That's all. Wow! Another guy who can understand animals! How can you use such a crude word as animal to describe the one and only Prince? He is special and the only one of his kind. Such a remark is an insult to Prince. I like cats, but not that much. Oh? Dual saint of cats. Shu Yen. In the eyes of the common folk, I look no different than any other ordinary cat. It's a natural mistake to make, and you shouldn't overreact. Ah, understood. I do apologize. Hmm. It seems he really is capable of communicating with the cat. Could this be the result of some modification to the language center of his brain? Mm, not exactly. How can he get all of that from a simple meow? 
That's pretty weird. It was the duels of genius invocation TCG that allowed our hearts to bond. It's understandable that ordinary people such as yourselves are unable to comprehend such a thing. So, playing Genius Invocation TCG fosters some sort of a telepathic link between players? No, Sucrose. Anyway, if you'd like to know anything about Genius Invocation TCG, then please ask Shulin, uh, who will ask Prince. Though I'd love to explain more myself, it's time for my daily walk. I'll let Prince play a game with you and walk you through all the rules. Just as a seasoned warrior can foresee the path of his opponent's goal, so too can I, as a TCG master, predict my opponent's every play. It would be improper to take a newcomer to the art of the card against one such as myself. And I must therefore politely decline. <clears throat> That's what Prince said. I'm sorry, but from the day I met the mighty cardmaster Prince, I swore an oath that my hands would live solely to hold the cards and not to play them. I will never play another match of my own again. Oh my god. <laughs> right. Prince's paws probably can't hold the cards. If Prince is unwilling to play, then I guess we should look for an alternative. Hmm. How about this? Diona! Ah, there she is. Genius Invocation TCG has to have a drink! Ugh! Don't you have any clue that the key to playing a game is the ability to think straight? Seriously, games and drinks don't mix! Don't they get that? Nah! What can I say? As the tavern owner, I can't help but feel happy to hear this. Anyway, I see you've been working hard, so I thought you could use a break. So, why not come over here and teach these customers the rules of Genius Invocation? Ha! <laughs> yeah, what kind of break is that? I'd rather not. <sighs> why are we letting all these loafers come in here to play Genius Invocation TCG anyway? All it does is encourage more people to come to the bar for a drink. <sighs> you know, if drink sales keep going up like this, pretty soon Mondstadt's alcohol industry is gonna reach new heights! <sighs> huh. Looks like my first step in destroying Mondstadt's alcohol industry should be stamping out the spread of Genius Invocation TCG. My dear, you are quite mistaken. You said it yourself, a clear mind is necessary to win. Soon, their thirst for victory will overcome their thirst for alcohol. I wonder if Diana knows Prince? what Prince is actually saying. Not only is the spread of Genius Invocation TCG no obstacle to your goal of destroying Mondstadt's alcohol industry, it could even support you in this endeavor. C could it really? Apparently not. Sure, why not? Alrighty then, our two customers are waiting to learn. Shuyin, let's put you on drink mixing duty for now. But Shu Yen is destined for a far greater purpose. Shu Yen, drink mixing now. Oh, okay. Ooh, all right. We'll need some space to learn. <laughs> Let's go to that empty table over there. Let's go. Finally. First of all, adorable. It's even got a little bow tie. Hello, Katie. So does he sell cars? Is that what Prince's purpose is? Diana's oh. Waiting for you. Go talk to her. That's what Prince said. <sighs> and I need to go start mixing drinks. Meow. It's a pity that I can't look on while you learn. Okay, I guess I can't do anything with Prince until uh, I learn how to play. Cat. Belen. Oh, that's you. I want to talk to the cat. Do I look like I want to talk to you? All right, Diana. <laughs> okay, let's go through the rules. First things first. You'll be needing your deck, so place that on the table. Uh, deck? Uh, yes. You should.
should have built a deck. You know, a set of cards that meets the bare minimum requirement to play the game. That's what you got in the mail, Sucrose. Actually, we do have some cards. That's right. We have some cards that I received from a friend. Uh, yeah. You're gonna need a few more cards than that. Okay, let me think. Huh. To learn the game, you'll need at least two character cards to switch between. Oh, oh, that reminds me. A few days ago when I was closing up for the night, I noticed a customer had left a couple of character cards on the bar counter. <laughs> Maybe you could use those for now. Okay, dokie. Are you sure that's okay? Eh, it's already been a few days. He still hasn't come back to claim them. Who knows? Maybe he left them here on purpose. Oh, okay, yeah, I got them here with me. You know, just in case the customer came looking for them. Ah. <laughs> Not because I like to play the game or oh, anything. Oh, Diana. All right, I'm All ready. Right, then let's begin. Character cards and attack types. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the world of Genius Invocation TCG. Simply put, this is a game where you control character cards to duke it out with your opponents. Pew, pew, pew. Once you've defeated all of your opponent's character cards, victory shall be yours. Now then, you're going to need a character on the field to start with. Okay. Confirm selection. You attack first. first oh, you I have to roll. Elemental dice at the start of every round. Okay. I'm glad you're keeping track. Correspond to elemental energy. We'll be spending these dice to perform actions. Okay. Confirm. Once the roll phase is over, you enter the action phase, where the real game starts. During the action phase, you can spend elemental dice to perform various actions. Okay. Of course, the most common action is to use character skill. Use Deluxe Elemental Skill. Okay. Deluxe Elemental Skill will cost three pyro dice. After selecting the skill, you will select the elemental dice that must be spent by default. Okay. Searing Onslaught can deal three pyro damage. Use Searing Onslaught against the opponent's active character. Oh, you want me to do it myself? My opponent's turn. Not bad. You just made your first attack. During the action phase, both sides will take turns making their moves. After you use a skill to attack your opponent, it's their turn to attack. Obviously. My turn. As you can see, once the enemy finishes their move, it's our turn again. Naturally. But I don't have three. We have two Omni dice against yeah. our rolls. These are Omni element dice. They can be spent on oh. regardless of the elemental type. Okay. So we're going to use them to pay for the pyro dice needed for this skill. Come on, give it a try. Okay, I can do that. Okay. Oh, that was pretty good. That's one opponent down for the count. Kabam! But the game has only just begun. Remember, you have to defeat all opponents to win. So are they going to let me change characters now? Hmm. As much as we'd like to attack again, seems like we've run out of usable dice. In that case, let's end this round. After you end rounds, you won't be able to do anything else this round. And once everyone chooses end rounds, 
We can move on to the next round. Okay. So no dice, end round. I'm ending my round. The opponent declares the end of the round. End phase. Round two, you attack first. So we're gonna get the elemental energy we need after all. Alright. We roll the dice. Ooh, yeah. Terrible luck. Huh. There's no way we'll be able to use Phoenix skill now. But don't worry. Situations like these are why we have the option to re-roll. <laughs> Once per round, you can select all the dice that you don't like and re-roll them. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go, that's better. I can use a move now. When the action phase begins, the player who first chose end round in the previous round takes their turn first. So me, right? This means that since you finished first the last round, you'll be the first to start this round. Alrighty then. Let's learn a little bit about energy and elemental burst. Oh boy. Each time you use a skill, your character will gain one energy. I see that. There's he's has he's has he has two. I yes, I see that. When Phoenix energy is full, he can use a powerful elemental burst. But we're still one short. We are one short. Let's start with a normal attack instead. Uh, okay. Phoenix's normal attack only needs one pyro die and two other dice of any type. In any case, your normal oh, I see. It says right there. Fewer pyro dice than your elemental skill. Just like elemental skills, normal attacks grant one energy after using them. Dice left over. It's time to use your powerful elemental burst. All right, let's go for it. The elemental burst dawn can deal a whopping eight damage. Use it to finish off your final opponent and claim victory. Use your elemental burst to wipe out your opponent. I will. Kaboom. Miniaturized Dice Shaker. To the next battle. Switching characters and elemental reactions. At least they're taking this slow because I need it. You attack first. In an actual game of Genius Invocation TCG, you need to use multiple character cards to form a party. Mm-hmm. Next up, it's time for your second character card, Kaya, to take the stage. Oh, roll first. Hmm. Yeah. Like any move by Kai is going to cost quite a lot of pyro dice. Confirm. Better. Select Kaya's elemental skill, Frost Snaw. Damage, you'll cause your target to be affected by Kaya. Wouldn't it be like that for any Truly. element? Good. Now our opponent is affected by Kaya. This is a good time to learn about elemental reactions. So I should use you then. Different types of elemental damage affect enemies with different elements. When mm -hmm. a character is affected by certain elemental combos, an elemental reaction will be triggered. At the moment, your opponent is affected by Kaya, so we should try and use a pyro skill on them. Looks like we have to switch out the characters, though. Oh, that reminds me. Both sides must have one active character, while others are considered standby characters. Normally, we can only use the active character skill. Now, if you want to use the skills of a standby character, we'll have to switch them to the active character. 
just that. In this case, I'll have to switch to Demon in order to use his skill. Why is she so disappointed? <laughs> Okay. Let's go. We'll take that then. Switching characters is an action just like using yep. a skill. So once it's done, it's your opponent's turn. I figured as much. Most skills can only target the active character. As you can see, your opponent just attacked D Luke. Alright then. Now that D Luke is our active character, it's time to use his skill. Because the opponent is already affected by mm -hmm. fire, dealing pyro damage triggers the melt elemental reaction. Yes, we know about those. Melt increases damage dealt by two. This will allow you to deal loads of damage in one go. <laughs> Genius Invocation's elemental reaction system is pretty cool, huh? So are we going to talk about how we're using people in this world to play this card game? <laughs> or are we just going to pretend? Like, uh, that's not happening. They have to acknowledge it. Uh, action cards and support effects. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Next up, let's learn how to use card types other than character cards. Okie dokie. These cards are all known as action cards. Each time a match starts, you have to draw five action cards to form your starting hand. All right. I attack first. Roll first. Oh, we're gonna have to re-roll. Looks like we don't have any elemental dice we can spend to make an attack. Guess we'll just have to re-roll them all indeed. I have a feeling it's gonna be a bad roll again. Correct. So that's when I use these cards. If I don't have any we still don't have any usable dice even after that re-roll. Well, huh, never mind. Even in cases like this, we can still attack. We just need to put the action cards in our hand to good use. Mm -hmm. Don't underestimate action cards. They can grant all kinds of support and buffs to your active character. Take this one, for example. Expand hand. Great white iron now great sword. This action card will require two of these. Finger symbol? Yeah. That means you'll need to play elemental dice at the same time. Okay, so any two of the same. Some other cards will cost you these instead. The cost requirements for these are much more lenient. You can spend any kind of elemental dice. Okay, so white means they have to be the same. Black means that they can be different. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, though. For now, just... Yep. Drag this card to the field to play it. We'll need to spend two... Do not end your current turn. Oh. Simply put, you can continue to act even after playing an action card. Well then, <laughs> you have your blade. Time to test it out. But wait, D Luke's elemental skill costs three pyro dice, and right now we don't even have one. So can you just normal hit it then? Not a problem. This is where we can use a more advanced mechanic known as elemental tuning. Uh oh. By discarding one card from your hand. You can convert one elemental die into the element of your current active character. Oh. And this card isn't useful right now. So we might as well use it for elemental tuning. Okay. So you're basically sacrificing a card. Sometimes you won't be able to perform any actions you want to because you didn't roll the elemental dice you wanted. Oh well. Moving on, Ingenious Invocation teaches you keeping up a constant flow of combat is much more important than the number of cards you have. In this case, well, <laughs> let's just take all these useless cards and use them for elemental tuning. Okie dokie. Just by playing cards from your hand, elemental tuning is a fast action. So I can do it as much as I want. Okay, here we go. Have the white iron great sword equipped. Fearing onslaught 
we'll deal one extra damage. What? Oh no, so shocking. Well, he's dead. I think I have one more, right? Intent and final test. Select Sweet Madame and Favonius Cathedral. Return selected cards to your draw pile and shuffle, then draw an equal number of new cards. Can you only do this so many times? Yeah, it looks like you can only do it once. Any adjustments you wish to make to your starting hand? Both players have to select their starting active character at the same time. Oh boy, this one's a real doozy. We gotta take it out pronto. Let's see how you do this time. Remember, Start by selecting your initial starting character. Okay. I guess you. Set. Let's finish this swiftly. Oh, uh, yeah, I gotta reroll. Select the dice to reroll this. This. Uh, no, keep that. Uh, it's not too bad, I guess. Hey, hey, look at you! You sure are getting the hang of these rolls. Now let me teach you one last trick. We are charged. You can preview your opponent's actions. I mean, that is to say, you can read their intent. Check your opponent's intent. So here's where you can see all your opponent's intentions for this oh. round. Opponent's intended actions for the round will be listed here in order. Reference this to come up with effective countermeasures and easily defeat your opponent. Well then, that's the end of the tutorial. You're on your own from here. May victory be yours. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> um, let me see what I have down here. What do you do? When a character uses a skill or equips a talent, spends one less cryo die. Oh, I think it has to be when he's active. Deals one. Deals one more. When a character uses a skill or equips a talent. Oh, oh, you. Hey. This one. Yeah. Oh, but that. Oh, right, because it costs. To use. Okay. Alright. But now. I can do this. Wait, no. I can do this. Why? That's weird. Well, we'll use this. Unfortunately, I don't have any more pyro cards, so I'm going to have to switch. Um, or just use a normal. This is hard. No, 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 this one. Ready when you are. Oh, that was weird. Oh, right, I would have to spend die. Let's not do that. Freeze. I don't think there's anything else I can do, so I have to end the round. Because I'm out of die. Okay. Roll, please. Oh, we're re rolling. 
Oh boy. That was a crappy roll. Ow. Okay, what do I have here? What does Paimon do? Convert the elemental dice spent to Omni element. Okay, we need that. Oh, over here. Uh. Oh, I need to switch. Like, didn't it just say Omni though? Oh, I see what's happening. Okay, that's helpful. What are you? Heal your active character. Okay, we're gonna use you for tuning. Not yet. Uh, my brain. Should be able to do it. Oh no, I have to swap. Let's go. Okay. Oh, whoops. So now, I could do this. Overkill, but it still works. Yay, it did it. Genius Invocation TCG is a hot, is a Tightly paced, heart-stopping tabletop card dueling game. Utilize your decks by constructing them around character and action cards and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with various opponents at the table. Oh, you're just telling me about it. Okay, yeah, I know. We, we just went over all of this. Why are you telling me again? Invocation TCG can be played in dual mode, where each player brings three character cards, or an adventure challenge mode, with a fixed deck for each challenge. But the rules are all the same. As long as you understand the basics, then you should be able to take on any of those rowdy boo towns. Although I feel there are still many details to grasp, I think I understand the basic premise of the game now. That was... Quite the detailed oh, hello, sir. I didn't know the cat's tail's famous mixologist had such an eclectic skill set. What? What? Oh, when did you get here? I stepped in while you were in the middle of your explanation. I hope I didn't dampen the mood. No, not at all. Wow, what? Oh, when did you get here? You snuck in without making a sound. Anyway, what are you doing here? The cat's tail is a player in Mondstadt's alcohol industry. Naturally, you have some collaboration with my winery. I'm here today to discuss a few items of business with Margaret. Uh, too bad she just left. But if you head off right now, you might still catch up with her. Never mind. It's nothing urgent. In fact, I think I'm now more interested in this card that you're using to teach them the game. <laughs> okay, they are going to acknowledge it. <laughs> <laughs> Although I have some degree of experience with Genius Invocation TCG, seeing this particular card is a first for me. Uh, a customer left it behind a few days ago, but he wasn't even playing the game while he was here. Oh? And what sort of a customer was he? Uh, he wasn't wearing an eye patch, okay? <laughs> he had a light complexion and a super serious look on his face. Oh my god. <laughs> Seen him around here before. Hmm. Eye patch, you say? 
There's no doubt about it. I was trying to give the opposite description, but I just ended up giving it away. Sorry, Bart Hopkins. Don't worry. Somehow, I don't think he'll be giving you any trouble over it. So, what about the Daily Character Cards? I don't mind. It's just a card with my image on it. I didn't expect Deerwolf to be familiar with Gene Syndication TCG. The game has been catching on lately. It's hard to go anywhere without hearing it mentioned. Every now and then, I'll sit down and play a game with the customers in Angel Share. You up for a game now? I was hoping we could play a game. But this issue of someone leaving a character card with my image at the oh no. Table is very intriguing. It's getting late. And someone has some explaining to do. We'll have to have that duel another time. Sure, I look forward to it. Good. Also, if it's then nighttime, take my leave. is he just gonna go over there and start pounding on the door? You know where the door is. Don't let the door hit you when Lord Barbados lets you. Uh oh. Bart Hopkins. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I hope Cleo will be all right. He'll be fine. Now that we are familiar with the rules, why don't we try playing a game of Genius Indication TCG? Okay. Ooh, two new players having their first ever duel. <laughs> this sounds like fun. But in order to play an official duel, you need to have three character cards. Remember, a complete deck has to have three character cards and 30 action cards. Got it? 30. Let's use my cards. These were mixed in with all the others I had received. And I didn't know what they were for at first. But now that we've learned the rules, I can see that this one must be the Sucrose character card. Now, it looks like we each have the Kaya, Diluc, and Sucrose character cards. So why don't we have our first duel? If you say okay, so. Let's duel. Is this more tutorial or are we actually just going to be allowed to play? I hope I can just play. Even though I'm still trying to figure this out. Alright. Select cards to switch. Well, you don't cost anything. But that's confusing, so I don't want that. The next time you use a skill, switch your next character in to be the active character. Okay. Uh, I don't need that, because I... Oh, no. Oh yeah, I do. Sucrose is Animo, not Dendro. What am I thinking? And no one uses a bow. Unlike the adventure challenge you tried previously, duels are a true test of strength between two players. In a duel, your opponent can also use action cards, and they'll also be able to grab new cards during an end phase. Kay. At the same time, your opponent must also spend elemental dice to take actions. You'll be unable to view their intent. Oh. <laughs> Are you ready? It's time for some exhilarating fights to the bitter end. Yoda! Okay. Select your first character. Uh, I guess you? Let's finish this. Wish I could roll first, though. Um, so I want to re-roll... This, 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 and this, right? And hope for the best. Oh, no. Um. This doesn't look like something I need. No. I don't need this either. Okay. So now she's affected by Pyro. Oh, did she cause me to switch? Well then. Oh, 
Oh, that got everybody because of Swirl. That's interesting. Oh, that's gonna use dice. What does this do? I don't think there's anything I can do then. Unfortunately. Okay. Please give me a good roll this time. Mm, so I want to re-roll these four. Not much better, but okay. Okay, what do I have? Just Claymore, so that goes to you. Can I apply it to you if you're not active? Let's try it. Okay, so you have that now. What was this one? The next time you perform switch characters, spend one less die. The next time you use a skill, switch your next character in to be the active character. Oh, it has to be against the active. Alright. So now I'm Sucrose again. I don't have enough dice. Shoot. Looks like that's what I'll have to do. I'm not good at this at all. Uh -huh. So, uh, these four can go. Ooh, that one spun a lot. That's better than it has been. What are the rules? It costs dice and energy to unleash an elemental burst. Okay. Animal resistance is annihilation. Oh, what was that? Interesting. Is this for Geo? I don't need that. Uh, yes, actually. Let's go. I mean, wait. Uh, Jeff, sorry. I didn't factor that into the equation. Oh, I have a buff. What's this? Don't tell me what it is. Fortunately. I don't have enough. I think I have to switch. Let me think. What's this? Choose one summon on the opposing side and destroy it.
Wait, no, play it. Okay. Now I can do it. Okay, but that's all I have, so I'll have to end. At least I got one more hidden. Oh! That stays. Okay. Um, we will re-roll these two. <laughs> they weren't any better. Okay. Go ahead. I mean, this doesn't cost anything, so... I might as well use it. When active phase begins, create two Omni Elements. Wow. But it costs three. Well, I can't... Yeah, just do it. Oh, it has to be three of the same. I'm going to try it. I want to see what happens. I did. Oh, I have to wait two turns? When action phase begins, create two Omni Element. I don't understand. Why didn't you do it? Do I have to wait until the round ends? Let's find out. Hold on a second. Meh. Oh. Okay. Oops. That might be enough. Oh, one short. I don't really need to do anything fancy. That's good enough. Cool. I can't believe I lost. When we had the exact same character cards. The rules must be more complicated than I first thought. Every decision is a difficult trade-off in this game. If there was only a way to transplant the arms of the two standby characters onto the active character's uh, body. Not That's quite. not how the rules work, Sucrose. Don't be a sore loser. That kind of thing is looked down on in PTG circles. Oh, I am sorry. I was beaten fair and square. I know that. I just can't stand losing. Nobody it can. Was match. Plan didn't it was a close call. So competitive, Sucrose. I always get a little upset when I lose. It's like that with my research, too. It always gets to me when my experiments don't go as planned. Especially when there's an alchemy genius like Albedo around to compare myself to. Ah, uh, we can't compare ourselves to Albedo. Feel that way. Playing cards is no 
different. Each game you lose makes you want to win the next one to settle the score. And the desire to win pushes you to improve your strategy and build a better deck. <laughs> Seizing victory through a winning combination of luck, skill, and experience is where all the fun of Genius Invocation lies. But what if you keep trying and trying and never win a single game? A losing streak, eh, uh, yeah. That'll definitely get you down. But it's way better to keep trying until you win than to just accept you're a plain old loser and give up. Hmm. You make a good point, Diana. Besides, Sucrose, you're already making great progress. It'd take at least eight of our regular B talents to match your level. You played well this last match. Agreed, it was a brilliant game. Thank you. I'm just a little disappointed to lose, that's all. But Genius Invocation TCG is a really fun game. Good, having fun is the main thing. If you ever want to play again in the future, feel free to come by the cash sale. Uh, so don't expect me to play with you. I just mean, this site probably has the right atmosphere. I'll definitely be back. All right. I think you should have all the basics down by now. I need to get back to bartending. She and Fletch have been busy making his tavern more popular with his delicious cocktail. Poi, poi, poi. And we can't have that. No, ma'am. Burning Mondstadt's wine industry to the ground keeps me pretty busy, you know. So if you need any more help, go bother Shuyun. Yes, ma'am. Talk to Shuyun. Hey. I see. So you have now grasped the rules of Genius Invocation TCG. <laughs> That's right. The Travelers, Sucrose, and Paimon are TCG players now. I didn't notice you play any matches, Paimon. Uh, Paimon picked it up from watching you and Sucrose. Wow. <laughs> a TCG player is not as similar as... You cannot call yourselves true TCG players until you have passed the test. <sighs> Sobering words from Prince there. But I'm afraid he's right. To become official players recognized by the Genius Invocation TCG Society, you have to pass the test. There's really a test? Yes, although to be honest, it's not that difficult. Basically, to become an official and recognized TCG player, you have to best three opponents in a duel. So, you have to win three duels against three different opponents? The duel you just played can count towards this tally. I agree. Although I didn't get to observe the match myself, I did listen along. And from what I could hear, you both performed at a rather high level. Same way you can hear what Prince says? A well-trained ear is a basic skill expected of anyone hoping to become a TCG master. But back to the matter at hand. The Traveler only needs to beat two more opponents to become an official TCG player. Sucrose, you may have lost the last duel, but don't be disheartened. I can assure you that winning three games is well within your abilities. <coughs> but first things first, Shuyen. Before that, our TCG newcomers should receive their free gifts. Ah, oh, yes, my goodness. Completely slipped my mind. I'm lucky to have Prince here to remind me. Everyone who wants to start playing Genius Invocation TCG is entitled to claim a free casket of tomes. A casket of tomes? Oh, Tanae's mentioned it, didn't he? It was from the light novels he's been reading. The thing that the main character found in his attic. Oh, that's right! The soul of an ancient TCG player was trapped inside, right? So the casket of tomes is actually real? <sighs> Actually, all card cases in Genius Invocation TCG are called Caskets of Tomes. Not only do they provide a reliable and sturdy container to store your deck, they can also sense when other people in the area are also carrying a Casket of Tomes with them. Oh! Paimon did just what Chicken is saying next! The reason they can sense each other is because they have the souls of ancient TCG players inside! <laughs> that would mean an extraordinarily high number of people in history have been turned into disembodied souls as a consequence of playing card games? No. The real reason that it can sense other caskets is because it holds a nifty little mechanism invented by Sumeru scholars. Darn! What a letdown! Probably something similar to Street Pass. Uh, sounds like a convenient way of finding other TCG players. Oh. 
caskets of tomes are issued by Martha, so you will need to see her to claim yours. Probably for the best. If Prince and I were responsible for handing them out, knowing how eager we both are to promote the game, we'd probably have dished them all out by now. Okay, so go and see Margaret to claim your casket of tomes, use it to find another player, beat them in a duel, and then come back here. But even for the Traveler, that's only two wins in total. What about the last one? I shall choose the final contestant she must beat in order to become an official TCG player. For it must be one of comparable prowess. Excellent plan, Prince. Happy dueling, both of you. Go to Margaret. Okay. Goodbye for now. I've noticed that, like, sometimes different people say different names differently than others. It's like they're not getting any, uh, like, direction when they get the script. It's just like, here you go, read it. Where's Margaret? Is she where she usually is? Yep. Margaret! Hello, you three. Has little Diona finished teaching you the rules of genius invocation? Uh-huh. I see you're here for your casket of tomes, aren't you? <laughs> a very useful tool indeed. Ooh. So this is a casket of tomes. That's right. A purpose-built case for your card deck that can even detect when someone else nearby is hearing one. Gosh, whoever invented this must have seriously disliked being alone. Yeah. Well, you kind of need to play with someone. Fun game is pretty lonely when you've got no one else to play with. Exactly. So I'm glad that these customers, um, <coughs> TCG players, are able to congregate at the Cat's Tales. Can't be bad for business. You're not wrong, but that's secondary. The important thing to me is the opportunity for like-minded people to come together and enjoy their favorite hobby. It creates a nice atmosphere. Anyway, now that you have your caskets of tomes, it's time to find some opponents. All right. In that case... I'll go find some people to play against, too. Let's meet back at the Cat's Tale in a while. Trust in your cards. You can win this. Thanks. I'll do my best. You can edit your decks using the Casket of Tomes and also search for characters nearby who also possess a Casket of Tomes. They're five thereby identifying opponents you can challenge. Simply open the deck menu using the Casket of Tomes before selecting a deck to edit it. After searching for and locating a challenger, the map will appear, allowing you to mark rival card players who also possess a Casket of Tomes. You can use this method to tell who you can challenge to a game of cards with ease. When you use your Casket of Tomes to activate the ability to search for players, Players closest to you whom you have yet to defeat will be prioritized. Okay, so. Oh, let me collect this first. Thank you. Oh, I should collect my mail. Ooh, look at all that. Claim, please. Thank you. I just want to get rid of all these alerts. Oh, all right, maybe not. Uh, so let's go, is it in gadgets or is it in, it's in gadgets. Deck. My deck, so I only have these three right now. You need to select a set of appropriate characters and action cards to form an effective deck. At the press of a button, you can switch over to edit your character and action cards as well, allowing you to build a deck of your own design. A deck needs to have three valid character cards and 30 valid action cards to be set as an active deck. Should any of the cards within the deck fail to meet the criteria for usability, the Casket of Tomes will hint as such to you, so please take note. 
Add in the cards you want by dragging them over the avatar at the top of the menu or just slotting them in. Conversely, you can also drag or unslot them to remove them from the deck as well. Additionally, you can drag character cards that are already in a deck to the deck of another avatar to switch the positions of the corresponding character cards. Right-clicking a card will allow you to swiftly add or remove it. You can select the card to review its key details, which allows you to understand not only its effects, but also change its appearance and see how you can obtain it. You can also add or remove cards while in the details section. Well, I don't really have anything to play with right now, right? So... I'm going to get rid of this card because I don't know how to use it. Um, what's this do? Shift one energy from at most two of your characters on standby to your active character. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Oh. Contains unplayable cards? What? Wait, is this my active deck or is this my active deck? Oh, I don't know. No, we're not gonna play with that just yet. Okay, search for player. Okay, let's go and challenge Swan. Boop. Actually, I can get uh, some gems. From that. I tried to get child one more time and I didn't, uh, did not work out, unfortunately. And then this, there's, now there's two characters I want. I'll try to pass, but. Chart course. Okay, um, oh, did the battle pass start? Once, there was a glorious- Yes, we know how this goes. I'm gonna have to buy that after. It's really annoying, because I initially started on my phone, I can only purchase when I'm on my phone, which is kind of irritating. I know it's probably a safety feature, but I wish there was a way to get around it. I can assist the two of you with. We want to become official genius amputation TPP players. But we have to pass the test first, so we need to be three players in a duel. Our test for the group split us two. Oh, I see. Unfortunately, I'm on duty right now. But it's time to duel. I see you're serious about this. Very well. As a fellow TCG player, I cannot refuse an earnest invitation to duel. <sighs> So be it. Then let the duel begin. I'll make it quick. Maybe. Oh, he's just got hilly trolls. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Um... I don't need a pole arm. What's this? Draw two cards. Right. Um, okay, let's just switch that one out. Okie doke. Uh we'll start with you. Let's go. As usual. 
rolling. Yeah. Uh, let's re-roll all of you. Mm, not great, but it'll do. Is this a claymore? It is. Oh. Okay. Now we will use this. Huzzah. Goodbye. My turn. Well, we'll give you this, because I can. It doesn't cost anything. Yes, take this, please. I did! Oh. I didn't have it clicked on. Oh, uh, I don't have three... I guess I have to end. Oh my gosh, so many geos. I don't need any of those. Oof, okay. Well, I'm not on a sword character. Oh, they gotta be the same, though. Mm. Mm. I'm thinking too hard about this for a simple duel. <laughs> okay. This should be the last round. Ooh, that one went, <laughs> this one bounced really high. Uh, okay, I don't need any of you. These rolls are annoying. Like they're starting to get on my nerves. Only playable if one of your characters is defeated this round. No, I don't need this. Does that give me enough to play something? It does. Ta-da! Goodbye. Victory! Thank you! Nope. I'm good. I'm assuming we use those little tokens to buy more cards. Probably. Talk to Swan. 
Oh, yeah, there it goes. But I've lost. You're remarkably good at this, considering how new to the game you are. Let's uh -huh. play again when you have some time. But ideally, not when I'm on duty. They're always on duty. To the cat's tail. Well, it can't be Sucrose again because it has to be a different person, right? We're here. I sense that she had what it took to become an official TCG player. But she has returned to the tavern more quickly than I had expected. Hello. Defeat the opponents I have arranged for you, and you shall become an official TCG player. I look forward to watching this game immensely. Not just Prince. I can't wait either. Come, your opponent is waiting for you in one of the private rooms. She won't answer them, whoever it is. Is it Kaya? Naturally. <laughs> Who else would take it this seriously? Your opponent sounds anxious to begin. Do not delay. That's what Prince said. Please enter and enjoy your genius invocation TCG duel. I think we will. Is it this one? Hello, madam. One, it must be tread with great caution, for eternal doom and damnation are but one wrong step away at any given moment. That is why none is more suited to appear in this audience chamber than the princessin, Ut Al Deba Ertalong de Kurosin Kaleido Phantasmus, has witnessed ten thousand battles across three thousand worlds. Can we just play now? Indeed, Ming Furlein has watched many games of Genius Invocation TCG and has gained a solid grasp of the rules. Even in a duel between beginners, it is best that both participants are well versed in them. Oh, that's true. A duel between beginners? of mankind to discern their working principles. Thus, with speed and brilliance paralleled by lightning alone, do I now arrive here at the gateway to yonder circle of secrets. Mame Foyline, too, has bested two opponents thus far, and is therefore one step away from becoming an official TCG player. There's a lot on the line, huh? Either Fisher or the Traveler is going to come out of this duel as an official Indeed. Oh, the princess in herself heeds the call of fate and descends to this realm from the Immanachrite. Yet still you dare to doubt the inevitability of the inevitable. Your stubborn foolishness is contemptible. Main Foyline, I implore you to consider less odious turns of phrase 
lest you be forced to feast on your words in the fullness of time. Verily, tis time to duel. It is time to see what you are made of. Let's go. Um, I don't need this, and I don't really need this. So we'll get rid of those. I didn't need a bow either. But let's see what we roll first. Oh. Um. You. This will be interesting. Reroll, please. Not fantastic, but it'll do. Spend one less cryo die. Actually, I can just use this. Thank you. By royal decree. Use one of those. I, I can do it. Yes, you can. I know you can. Nope. I'm done too. I was worried about this. <laughs> it's not so bad so far. Let's see if they pull anything silly. Mm. These ones. Not any better. Okay. I know, I'm just looking at my cards. Shift one artifact equipment card that has been equipped to... Oh, I don't need to do that. So let's do this. What do you do? Character gains one energy. Well, well. Oh, but I don't have two the same. We can do that. No, not those. Oh, they have to... Oh, is it the block ones that don't have to be the same? Am I misremembering? Oh, the white ones have to be the same. Okay. I understand. Oh, I don't have enough dice. You silly goose. 
Now, if I play a card, will that care? Will that carry over? I wonder. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna use this card and see. It appears that it stays, so you may as well use it to use up your remaining die on the ra during the round. Oh my gosh. All of you be gone. Give me something to work with. Better than it was. Oh shush. What was this? Heal your active character. There has to be two the same. Oh, it's not going to work well against you, though. I oh, will do it anyway. I can switch after this, maybe. Oh, it's not going to cost me anything. Let's go. Okay. Excellent. Okay, now... These have to be two the same. Will the Omni work? It will. Okay. That'll help. Alright, go ahead. There we go. At least one's down. This is but a small sacrifice necessary to achieve ultimate victory. Oh dear. What are you up to? Oh, you're just saying because I knocked out Kaya. I get it. What is that card? Yes, they start first, I know. Ugh, these rolls are terrible. Yeah, that's a little better. Yes, I know, they go first. My turn. Okay. Uh, what are you? Oh, I don't need. Okay. Goodbye. Oh my goodness. Let's see how oh six. I think that's it for me. Now can I use any of these cards? Oh, I think it said before the round ends. Is that what that said? Yeah, it did. Okay, we'll just use this. Because I can. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> that worked well. I forgot about that. Once more, casting its dark shadow on the slender threads of fate. 
hiding then from my thinking? Traveler, was even this part of your plan? Uh, no. A truly ingenious plot. And what an exciting duel to witness. Congratulations. You've won three duels now. That makes you an official TCG player. Uh huh. Yeah. What about you? two games so far. When I got back, I heard you were in the middle of your final duel, so I came over to watch. Hey, this was one too as well! Great work! Hmm. It seems I am forced to admit, fellow voyager of the shallow void, that your mastery of the cards is second to none. To commemorate your glorious ascent to a battlefield beyond this lowly mortal realm, I grant you an incarnation of my majesty in miniature. As you embark on this ingenious vocation, may you wield it in battle against all your fated foes, that not a single one of them may be left standing. Main Froilein wishes to give you a Main Froilein character card. I dare not take advantage of the princess's generosity. A mere token of such. To the victor of this splendid duel is a boon of commensurate splendor due. Oh, um, excuse me, ma'am. I am also a beginner who has won two games so far. Might I also have the honor of joining you in a duel? If you would be willing, of course. Nothing would delight me more. I hereby grant you permission to join me in performing the hallowed rite of genius invocation. One other thing. When I got back, Prince and Shuyun said there was something they needed to give you if you managed to become an official TCG player. Hopefully not another test. Oh, I thought that's just some kind of prize for making it as an official TCG player. Let's go get our prize. Or we get to play Prince. Can I go into this room? Hey, I'm crashing your game. I'm just seeing if there's anything in here. I'm just having a quick looky. Really? They didn't put a chest or anything in here? Bummer. Can I jump on this? Nope. Hey. Hello. Ah, oh, so it was you who won the duel in the end. I knew you'd do it. Congratulations. You are now officially recognized members of the Genius Invocation TCG community. Very well done. Now, I will explain to you what becoming an official TCG player entails. The first thing all new official TCG players receive is their TCG player's handbook. Oh, this thank you. tells you exactly what you need to do to become a top-tier TCG player. Make sure you read it. Secondly, a range of Genius Invocation merchandise is now available for you to purchase here at the Cat's Tail. <laughs> so you see, becoming an official TCG player is really just the first step. And thirdly, whenever you wish to play a game with a friend, you can use the invitation board there. Whoever you wish to duel against, simply invite them to the tavern for a game. Invitation board? Yes, it's right by the bar counter. Once you get the hang of it, you can play with your friends whenever you want. Okay. That's it, really. If there's anything else you didn't quite understand, you can always come and ask me. <coughs> yes, indeed. I'm quite sure they will. Oh, sorry. I forgot to translate for you. Prince would like to say, hope you have fun playing Genius Invocation TCG. Oh, I don't get to play Prince? Battlefield of Dice, Cats, and Cards completed. Unlock Genius Invocation TCG. Participate in various matches. Mat oh my gosh. Matches. Find challengers in the open world or enter the tavern after reaching player level 2 to play matches against weekly visiting challengers and earn player XP, which will increase your player level. As your player level increases, you will unlock new functions and matches. Upon reaching a certain player level, you can also challenge Prince in Ascension Challenges to further elevate your maximum level capacity. 
Genius Invocation is a popular card game with players coming from all corners of the world. Face them in matches and overcome them to get player XP and lucky coins. Should you be fortunate, some rivals might even gift you certain cards as a parting gift after the culmination of your duel. As your player level increases, the number of challenges you can face and the matches you can partake in will also increase. You can use the invitation board to send invitation to registered challengers and partake in matches. Should you prevail in these mas matches, you can also earn corresponding character and talent cards. You can use the invitation board and connect with your friends via co-op to engage in matchmaking. As your player level grows, you can also challenge faraway strangers to duels of skill. Spend the lucky coins you earn from Genius Invocation matches at the Cat's Tail. You can use lucky coins to purchase cards, card backs, and dynamic skins, amongst other items. I don't know what I should do first. Okay, let me just look at this real quick. Thank you. So if I go to the board, invite character. Do I have to play three challenge objectives? Achieve victory, achieve victory within six rounds, win with less than two characters defeated. Okay, let's play. You invite Kaya to the cat's tail. You wanna play a game? Thought you'd never ask. I thought you were busy getting in trouble. Let's play. Ooh, you've got Mona. That's gonna be trouble for me. Okay, more useful. What do you do? Destroy all summons. Affects both you and your opponent. Interesting. Um. Okay. Ready when you are. You attack first, but first we roll. Uh, just these three, please. Okay. Do I have a... Uh, I'm thinking really hard. But their active card is also Kaya, and that doesn't make any sense. I guess I can do it. And then I can switch. Oh, there it goes. What is that? Collect your unused elemental dice. Huh. Interesting. No, 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 use one of these. Because then I'm going to switch to sucrose. I can do it. Oh, I can go. How can he switch opponents so easily? Well, I'm out of dice, so. But I did it first, so I get to go first. So there. Oakley dokley. Um get rid of these four. Please. Okay.
my goodness, you have so many cards. I'm frozen. I should have expected that. Character cannot use skills. Last until the end of this round. Oh, all right. Well, let's put you in then. Oh, might as well. Finish this. Swift one. Oh no, I'm not done with you yet. You're being a butthead. Okay. I can end the round. Ow. This is not going to be easy. Um, you know what? I'm gonna see if I can get more. Not what I wanted at all. I was being greedy. I was trying to get more pyro or animal. Okay. You gonna go? I'm frozen. Poop. Looks like sucrose is my best bet right now. What? He declared the end of the round already? That's weird. Even if I use tuning. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use that. Oh, it has to be on the active character, doesn't it? Poop. Okay, that's fine. Oh, right, we have to roll. We'll just do those two. Ooh, okay. I've got some things to work with. And some extra die. Let's mix things up. Am I frozen? No. Not yet, anyway. I thought 
they declared the end of the round. What the heck? That's rude. I wonder if I can use this as an opportunity to swap. Ready when you are. Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, what have I got? Ooh, lots of cryo. Just what I needed. Oh, is this one gonna stop? Oh, bummer. Chill, man. No valid targets. It's not one of these? Oh, it has to be one of these, huh? Alright, well. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Uh, hold that thought. Do I need one more? Nope, that was enough. Wow. Sure. Huh? What? Switch selected character to activate. Let's go. There we go. That was weird. Let's get rid of Benny. Feeling the heat. Is this round six? So did I need to defeat them before the sixth round or up to six? Let's find out. No pyro. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, it shouldn't matter though. I should be able to go. you so was that enough then oh it was three to three thank you gg <laughs> i've made such a fool of myself is d luke the other one can i talk to you again uh no you merely exist no i don't want a rematch Yes. Alright. We'll play you and then that might be it for today. Because I have to eat and I have to get ready for work tomorrow and everything else. Should I adjust the deck? Let me see. Because I now have Fischl. It doesn't tell me how many it takes to... Mm. 
Wait, does it say what his deck is? Hang on, back up. All right, let's go for a round. I guess not. Um, well, we can try uh, official. We haven't used her yet. How do I? There we go. I wasn't clicking and dragging for some reason. Oh, did it not give me a card I can use? Oh, this is invalid because I don't have a cryo character. Interesting. Alright. Let's try using her and see what happens. Alright. Let's go for a round. Okay. Oh, he's got Razor and, um... Oh my gosh, I can't remember her name for now. My brain's not working. Okay, we're switching this one because I don't understand it anyway. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I can do it. You can. I know you can. I believe in you. Okay, make sure you remember who you have active. I don't know if that helped. Okay, what does this do again? Shift one energy from two of your characters on standby to your active character. Okay, I don't need that yet. Select the character who will eat this food. Okay. What does that do? Timmy. Triggers automatically once per round. This card gains one pigeon. When this card gains three pigeons, discard the card, then draw one card and create an omni element. Ellen. When you use a skill that has already been used in this round, spend one less elemental die. Library. Select any elemental dice to re-roll. That's a good one. Uh, can I apply these now and then they'll work later? I have no idea. Well, I can take this because that's not going to be useful to me at all. Oh, right, I can use it because I have one less. Nope, my turn's done. Let's see what I draw. But first we roll. I'm getting the hang of this. Um, these two. Looks like I'll have to switch to somebody else. Oh, relax. Yes, let's do this. And I did want to switch, thank you. It would be pointless to use that card though, because then I wouldn't have enough to attack.
don't think there's anything else I can do. Ooh. That swirl, though. Ooh, that's a lot of hydro. I can't use any of these. Mm hmm Yep. What's this do? Choose one summon on your side and grant it one u plus one usage. Useful. <laughs> Might. Well, I can do it, so I may as well. Oh. Gotcha. Oh, got me. Okay. So let's roll and see what I can come up with. I need some pyro. None of you are useful. Give me pyro. Thanks. Not what I was looking for. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna go get them. Pew! No, oh, I think I overdid it a little. Not bad. Oh, is it my turn? Oh, I don't have a lot of, uh... Okay, well... Let's give you this, that way you can use it next time. Then I can end my round. But that means I get to go first. Oh, switch to Sucrose. That's good. I needed her in. All right. Roll me. Would have been better if uh, Fischl was active. Unfortunately, I don't have any healing items. I'm gonna take one of you. That way you can do this. Interesting. Unless I just throw in all of these. Is 
Is that enough? I only need one, so. Yeah! We did it! So, if it's not friendly, does that make it harder, I wonder? Good game. GG. Have I unlocked? Oh, now there's a trading card game icon there. The cat book. So does that unlock anybody? Oh, I see. You need letters. And why are these ones locked? I wonder if you can meet Sino somewhere and play uh, against him. Fascinating. Hey, what's up? Is there anything I can help you with? You, the card shop's commodities. Ooh. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, where did it show? Ah. Well, I know I can do this. Can I do this? Nope. Nope. Oh, I know I don't have enough of those. Oh, I do have enough glaze lilies. Dendrobium. Nope. Probably not. Oh, I do. Well, pardon me. Yeah, I don't have enough of those either. I already know that. Oh, it says in the top corner. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, um. I want. This. That's a useful card. What's this? Draw two cards. Two of the starting elemental dice you roll are always guaranteed. Oh. Oh, you can get them for as rewards, though. Ask about player level. <laughs> player level one. Give. Oh, and I can invite someone. Should I invite one more person before I end off? Who should I invite? Mm. Who should we play? Let's play against Barbara, since you're right there. You invite Barbara to the cat's tail. What? You want to play a round of cards? Sure, but I'm not very good. Please don't laugh. I won't laugh. I'm not very good either. Um, what's this one? I don't have a Hydro character right now, and I don't like this one. What's this do again? Oh, you can stay. Okay, um... They've got two Hydro and a Cryo, which is very unfortunate for me. Okay. In the name we'll of the start with Fish. Roll me. Oh no, I need that one. Maybe. Wow, some of them like to spin. Okay. Um, I'm going to get rid of you right off the bat. Thanks. We're going to summon Oz. Oh, 
fascinating. Correct the elemental dice spent to Omni. Heal, Claymore. Before the round ends. I, I can do it. Don't worry, Sucrose, you can. Oh, that's the card I was going to buy. My turn. Okay. I don't think it'll make a difference, but... Uh, there's nothing else I can do, so... I will end. That wasn't very eventful. Oh, that heals them. What a pain. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, indeed. That's a lot of Omnis. Okay. Uh, what do you do again? Choose one summon and grant it one use. Yes. Yes. We want that. Uh, sure, let's do that. Jeez, look at all the tinnies. Okay, I am going to give this to you, right? This is a, yeah. Yeah, eat that. If I use all three of my cards, I can play that. Well, not necessarily all three. Okay. Uh, we'll use that one. Nothing? What? Pardon me. But I am confusion. Does it only deal swirl damage? But they're affected by electro. Unless that just happened. How bizarre. Your opponent starts first? Yes, because they ended first. What have I got? Uh, not the worst roll. Not the best roll. Okay. I could work with this. I almost saw my turn. Oh! Isn't that useful? Yes, please, because uh, I'll use this first. Then I'm going to switch. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, wait. Let's use this too. I want to be extra cheap. Let's finish this swiftly. Okay. Then I will use this. Ooh, overloaded. Yeah, even if I converted those die, it's not gonna matter. So we will end the round. Oh, I should have used that. 
silly. That's okay, Barbara. Don't be so hard on yourself. Alright. None of these will do. So let's just get rid of all of them. Oh! Oh, that's a lot of electro. Alright. You need to relax, sir. Your current active character gains one energy. I'm going to switch to you. The threads of your fate lie in my hand. Oh. Well. First, I would like to summon Oz. not going to be enough anyway. So I may as well just use this again. Does that add to his number of turns, I wonder? No, it doesn't. Okay. That was just a curiosity thing. Uh, that's all I can do, so we will end the round. What does Tubby do? Spend two less elemental die when playing a location support card. Interesting. I might be able to do this in the six rounds. I wasn't sure. But we'll find out. Uh, no, 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 no. No to all. Okay. Yes, I know you go first. Oh, no. I always do this wrong. You want to play the card. There you go. And then... Yeah, we'll do that. And we'll do that. Because I want to do... Wait, what does this card do again? Oh, I don't need an energy on her. Bye bye. As you wish, <laughs> Chaos divided. I did it. Thanks for playing, Barbara. I guess my best still isn't enough. Don't worry. We were just having fun. My level still one. Oh, I guess I don't get XP unless I play outside forces. Oh, that's all I've got. What are you trying to tell me? Oh, achievement. Get the TCG player's manual. Defeat two or more character cards from the opponent's deck in one single action. A total of one time in a victorious game. Well, I did it. Um... Oh, new challenger player available. What does that mean? What? There must be an outside person. Okay, well, we're going to leave. I don't want to see how many primo gems I have. 
before I decide my next course of action. What's over here? Oh, I have a few things to do. Um, Primo Gems. I think I only have seven wishes. I like to do ten at a time. I don't like doing one. The question is, can I earn enough from my dailies and the test run to buy two more? That's what I'm wondering. So we'll just do the dailies real quick. I wish you could skip over commission dialogue that you've already done. Because it takes a while when... Uh, you've already done it. Like, I'm not saying we shouldn't read it. I'm not one of those people that complains that there's too much dialogue. It's just, once I've already read it, I wish I had the option to skip it, like with the uh, cutscenes. Like boss cutscenes? Some of them? Okay. Oof, I haven't done any actual playing yet. I've been too busy doing the card game. But I'll play more of that another time. No, I'm not in the mood to talk to Dr. Livingstone right now. Boof. Oh, you're going this way. Oh, sheesh. That was not the right direction. I hate when it does that. I like facing him in a certain direction. That way I can get the most out of it. But it decided that it wasn't going to do that. Oh, that was short. Okay. Oh. Help Anna become an adventurer. I didn't realize I hadn't done that. Alright, next stop. Uh, we'll go over here. I know we were just playing the card game, but you can still do it. Oh, yes, this one. Alright, let's do this quick then. Like I said, quick. Goodbye. Okay, there's that. Let me collect all of my goodies. And we'll go to the next one. This is right here. Is this just a tower one? Uh, looks like it. Nice, these are easy. Burn. 
Oh, it didn't reach the second tower, though, like I wanted. Oh, well. One more. Let's get out of here. Are these pine cones? Well, one of them was. I'm really short on pine cones. Oh, is this the, um, yeah, the eye of the storm? You know, I could figure it out if I just read the upper left corner. <laughs> Instead of guessing. That's okay, this one's easy too. That part's done. Then we'll do the uh, trial runs to get the primo gems from there and see if that's enough to get two more wishes. Add a Thank you for Do any of these I wish one of these was to collect the stamens? Oh, there's pine cones there. No, nope. okay. We'll just go with the usual plan then. There aren't any more deposits? I guess not. All right. There you go. All right. Um, so, oh, I don't think I'm going to have enough for two. Maybe if I did the battle pass, but then I would have to close the game and open it again, and that seems silly. Hmm. I don't think any trading gar card game opponents will either. We'll drop primo gems, that is. So I think... I think what I'll do is I will stop here and then tomorrow I'll have the battle pass and then why do you keep failing um I'll have the battle pass and I'll have or not that I'll, well I might have the wishes but I'll have the pass we'll do the trial runs maybe we'll do some more card game we'll go from there Alright, I will hopefully see you tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then definitely on Friday.